Welcome to Zen Gaming. I'm Zen. If you're just joining us, be warned there's spoilers here. We're about halfway into Chapter 3. We are on the trail of Creepy Bod Crane, who has some kind of weird fascination with Snow White's and maybe the killer. We're just going to keep going and see if that turns out to be the case. We're about to look through his apartment, which I'm sure will be filled with more creepy stuff. Okay, so which one is it? This is Briar Rose's place. Okay. Who else is around here? Well, that's weird. Why is the door open? Whose house is this? Snow said Crane lives in 1903. Right. I just want to see who the neighbors are. Just go in. Don't give them any warning. Crane? We gotta find him fast. That's the thing too. Is he's apparently looking Damn for it. must have missed him a witch. Gotta and we gotta find him here. for the he meets this, this witch. So we're on the, a bit of a time crunch here. Same brand we found in the open arms. Well, we know he was there. We've got photos. It's not like we need any extra evidence on that. There's a message. So that's why Everybody the Tweedles are the getting time. involved. Leave the light on, pal. They want their money from Crane. This hasn't been used in years. Who the hell's Jeremy? I forgot. He used to teach in the old days. Okay. Not useful. Hmm. I'll start with this. The envelope's probably the more interesting. No, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. I'm watching you work. I'm unable to control myself. It's because I love you. Oh my goodness. <sighs> he really is a creeper. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? We gotta... We're gonna have to talk to the Crooked Man and see what's going on. What's that go to, huh? Might be useful. Maybe we have no idea yet. We'll find like a, a safe or something. What does it go to? Math, science, history. I had to guess. The genius. <laughs> He's a perv. I've never seen him that excited. As things have changed. Is that it? Can I go out the door? Don't really do anything. Is there another room or something? Okay, guess not. Sure does like to look at himself. Really? 
just go in. Oh, it's his bedroom. Oh, no. I don't think I want to know what's in there. Yo. Uh, oh. <gasps> Jack. Wow. It is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself now. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Come clean. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend. Uh, sure. But you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done, I don't see any plants. Yeah, no shit. Hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You got me. Just take it easy. Don't make a big deal out of this. You better tell me why you're really here. Okay, okay. Is he thieving? We're covering things up. Town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? And you heard this from? What does it matter? I hear things. Because they might have heard something else. What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. All right? <laughs> this is really Stop messing necessary. around. <sighs> you know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? What's the point? I'm investigating. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. You're not anyway, going anywhere. It's really nice catching up with you. I mean... <clears throat> Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Funny haha. -ha. I may not know why you're here, but... What do you mean? Look, I have some dirt on Crane you might be interested in. Word on the street says he's got a witch in the city. I can tell you who she is, if you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. All right, tell me. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Fine. You got a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. Mm -hmm. Make sure he knows her serious. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for. He's not going to the 13th floor. It's got to be something illegal. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her exactly. You've got to be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. It's something, right. but I'll keep my eyes not open. super useful. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. <sighs> it was just... No, I'll leave the right bag, there. top guy. Hang on a second. Oh, come on. The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell this for a lucky pawn. A lucky pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. Give them to me. What? You know what. Hand them over. 
that it? Take me? Are you still here? We're in here, Snow. We? Who else is... What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh. What did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. Yeah, we gotta hurry. So, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? <laughs> oh, shit. You think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. So let's and go. We have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you we want know to go? we gotta talk to the crooked we don't have man. Much time. Mm. I said we'll we follow the crooked man lead. Brothers a visit. I'm <clears> sure <throat> they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. He's still trying to get out. Oh, hi, Bluebeard. Oh, no, I'm sorry, big guy. You can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing Going is, out of time. you'd heard, but I'm a third degree black belt and, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, <clears> right? <throat> Excuse me. Oh. Hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher. Who's that? What brings you here? Are you okay? Your face. Uh... Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? He wasn't. When I wouldn't let him in. Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. What did he take? I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after. I'm really sorry, Big B. Was he telling the truth? No. He said you sent him. But I don't know. I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here. But then he got mad, saying, oh, just terrible things. He was lying. I didn't send him here. You did the right thing. Okay. Good. Oh, I'm gonna get fired. No, you're not. Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way. Told me to get lost. The twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. I come in and clean up. They're usually pretty nice, understanding. Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... Thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. See? You scratch well, your back, you scratch right mine. Time. Give me some info. Ah, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh... Just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I, I guess. And I'll ask her about that job, all right? Sure, sure. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff. Who the hell's a flycatcher? I don't know these stories. <laughs> Donkey skin and flycatcher. Like, who the hell? Back to the trip trap. They're closed. Ha, 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 ha. 
Excuse me. I need to talk to Holly. Are we buddies now? Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Friend, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Friend, really, you shouldn't drink right now. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. But the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. Okay, that but explains a lot. You shouldn't mix it with alcohol. I don't think he gives a yes, shit. Yes, he did. He certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Friend, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's it took right. a couple bullets to fucking it to get into it. try to save you guys. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Friend, Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. Peace offering, right? To the dead. All right, now help me. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. It's done? <laughs> what more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. So he's tied to both of them? That must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. 
I don't give a shit. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions yeah. could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's it's connected to both of them. I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? Tweedledee came in here two nights ago. Why'd you run? I was scared, okay? I didn't want to go down for something I didn't do. I never would have hurt that girl, Bigby. All right. Hmm. Should have asked him about the witch. He would have known. I missed. I missed that opportunity. Ren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. I thought you said you would help me look. Yeah, now he's, he's going to bail maybe, on it. if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm going to pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. <laughs> he ain't going to remember it, huh? Fair enough. I had a feeling it was going to be something, like, marked on her that we were going to have to, like, sneak out. Well, that was easy to find. She gave us a go ahead and go through all her stuff. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. You may not believe this, but yeah. I care about everyone who came over. I don't know about that, Sheriff. You're friends with your friends, and we ain't friends. Okay. Oh, the address book is going to be useful. We'll save that for later, because I have a feeling that might just be the cutscene. Why'd you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I need to, uh, look through your sister's things. To look for clues? Um, yeah? if you want to put it that way. All right, I'm afraid she's going to get mad and kick his ass. So I'm going to just take a look at the address book. That's got to be the one. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Maybe Did they why? Give you this job for a reason, or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Lily. She deserves whatever justice I can get her. I'll take it. Mm. 
Nobody's awake to answer the phone. We're getting your glamour on this day. And one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you yeah. there. All right, I'll see you there. <laughs> Give it it's away. 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Let's see if we're getting in too first. Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Sheriff's Department, I'm gonna need you to open the door immediately. They opened. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> Look, kid, I don't have time for games. You woke me up! It's okay. Do you have a name? Rachel, who are you? Just so... I'm Bigby. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um... Is there anything you need? Yeah. Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? So we're knocking mm -hmm. on the door. Does she ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? <laughs> no, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Snow, can you just do something here? I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? <sighs> You're better at it. Do you mind if my Working friend out. here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Why would you say that? Okay, Snow, I'm going to trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Hmm. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. Yuck. That your mom? Uh-huh. Now we know what she looks like. Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never... Th that was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Hmm. What is this? Seen anything of use? Is that to carve trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? There we go. Like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Where do you buy your clothes? At a...
Okay, what's the point of that? And it looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? How much longer do you think it'll be? I saw a spider over there yesterday. Oh? It was a pretty one. A pretty spider, yuck. No. No such thing. The butcher. butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. Empty. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. Keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. So he was there. Empty too. Can I go to bed now, please? Well, that's him right there. He's glamoured to look different. Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I try. Oh no, 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 no. Please, 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 just yeah, put that back. Something's exactly wrong where here. You found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break oh, it. You don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me. That guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't want to... I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Auntie <sighs> Green. Had a feeling. It hurts when you do it that fast. You picked the wrong night to lie to me. No more lying. I'm hunting around the rosy. No more bullshit non sequiturs. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I want to know right now. All right. Start explaining. And from the beginning. None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is. I ain't a fortune teller, wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You but he was here. Something, unless you want a recipe for owl stew. You're an accomplice to murder. Do you realize that? You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. What? There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? No! That's why we're asking you know questions! What hell's wrong with you? with you? This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap if she's afraid for her life. We can at least make sure she never hurts us again. Agreed. We're destroying the tree. No! Oh, now you got her. You come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm gonna say lives. shit. Snow seems I'm to have sorry, this. Sheriff, but please, don't do this. Look, I'll tell you what's going on. Just don't burn my tree. The crane was here. There we go. That's he what we're waiting here for. And he, left. he went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. 
What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. Just please, you can catch him if you leave, okay? Just leave. And don't... Don't burn my tree. Yeah, we got what we came for. Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't. So we're going back to the, the strip club, apparently. Let's see if we can spot Crane. Do a lot more censoring. <laughs> to stay in line with the, the whole YouTube policies. I, That's Crane's car. I don't even understand why it's that upsetting. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Idiot. Hold on. Oh, do you miss a spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Ooh. Only respects okay, violence. Fuck, man. Tell me what you know now. Well, that was easy. You can't just go in there. A little late for that. We're going. We have a problem. Oh, comes crooked man. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. You can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I... Oh, my God. Big B. Wait, don't. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I ju just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on, and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please, I'm innocent, completely, completely innocent. It's just, just let me show you. This will solve everything. It's looking to her for help. I, I went to you. Damn you, come on, please. <laughs> Tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. She does know something, clearly. But I think she wants to help. How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too, too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just... I... It just... Oh, God. We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's, that was, I just, I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? Clearly. I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really He think didn't like violence. Women? We identified that. He's not he wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. Thank you, my dear. It means so much. We've been chasing this guy. Just why now? Because look at him. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? I do. I, I doubt so it. Long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... This fuck-up knows more than he's saying. 
I don't. I don't. That's not true. Why is yeah, he trying to get that girl to talk? He probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? You know, when I saw you come back here... This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. A crooked man. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yes, he has. Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute. You abused you your powers, though. About just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. So who's another suspect then? Bluebeard, perhaps? saying so he knows something he's gonna get dropped they don't want him talking oh, now nah, it's gonna be a crooked man There's the Tweedles. Hi. What you got there? Who's that? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Kissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? <laughs> I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown ups are talking. Guys? Speak English? You're interfering with Fabletown no, business. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. She's gonna shoot you. Yeah. What's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? What? what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. He's in custody, so move your car. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck. 
pocket. Same side, huh? Bigby? I'm gonna go full wolf now. Yep. Now they fucked up. Getting out of control. She is not afraid. He was bested. Why do anything? Silver bullet. Yeah. It was a good show, but you know, it just didn't know when to end. So woodsman's axe. I'm tired. Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow. <sighs> Don't do this. That's a crooked man. It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach? Just between us girls? Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Kind of figured that. 
kind of like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedle's day. Oh. Oh, a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Got jacked up bad. Oh, that was the end of the chapter. What's coming up, huh? He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? It's aggressive I just all of a sudden. To, um, about last night. After what they did to you, are you even gonna be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? Oh, that one wasn't very enticing. Yeah, <laughs> I hope it's still decent, though. <clears throat> All right, so... All right, nobody interrupted the eulogy. That's good. Uh, almost the majority is really close on that one. Almost nobody wanted to see the Tweedle's office. Uh, made a deal with Jack. Okay, most of us. Almost everybody offered him the job. I mean, why wouldn't you? Uh, most of us didn't burn it. Great. Oh, wow. Almost half actually killed Tweedle. Dumb. Well, that's that. Um, chapter three, done. Uh, I, I'm not really sure what to say. I'm curious to see how the story is going to play out. Uh, comment down below if uh, you're enjoying this and uh, let me know what you think. And, and definitely give me some recommendations on some other games to play. I like the Telltale ones and the, the Dark Picture stuff. Uh, I, I play a lot of stuff, but these are pretty fun. So if there's one of these that I've missed out on, I'd love to know about it. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, give this a thumbs up. Go ahead and uh, click subscribe and the bell next to that so you get notifications on the next episodes, and I'll see you there. Later.